Welcome, I'm GamerMave0 and today I'm going to show you a special switch. So I've designed, and this is all my idea, I've never seen anybody do this on YouTube before. This is actually something I did probably about four years ago actually in Minecraft. And I had to redesign it for the Windows Minecraft specifically. So what is special about this switch? Well, most switches, and this is a four-way switch, have a reset. This does not have a reset. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It can go in a circle. It does not reset, it does not need to. This is weird. But anyways, so the thing about this is that the Blanc just gets moved in a circle. And that, being in this position, passes a signal here, moves this piston here, which allows that signal from here to come all the way over here, but does not allow it to come through here. So this is what's uh, great about it. It needs no reset. There's no noticeable difference between any time you press the button um, at all. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we can build. So I already have a spot over here that we're actually going to get this started on. So every time I build this, or a lot of times when I build this, I'll end up building it over and over again. So, but we have this radial design. And then we want to use these, not the sticky pistons, because we don't want to bring the block back after we move it. Let's go ahead and set this here, and we already have that going. Okay, now we'll put a block here. So notice the signal comes out, and it immediately has a piston here, and then we have the block here. And then I almost want to create a circle with this signal here. So let's go back over here and I'll show you what I mean. So right here, and then now this time we will want to use a sticky piston. Not like that. And I'm probably making it a little bit more compact than I have it over there. We'll see if that actually works. So, but that part definitely works, and this part I know will work. The only question is, is, is there possibly any cross-contamination? So, but let's go ahead and build the rest of this in that radial design. So I'm just going to make this all go back one. So we already did that. Now we can kind of go forward or switch di uh, directions on how we're going around in the circle. Let's add on the white block to each one of these. All right, now we just need the redstone in each one of these spots. All right, first stage complete. Let's get the block going in. So there, there, there. So that's where it's going to come through. So now here's the input section. So let's draw a circle around it essentially or a square because it's minecraft now the outside signal here if you signal that obviously it's too big to reach the other side but if it wasn't for that fact it'd signal all of these at the same time on the outside now that signal going on the same time it's only this one that allows the signal to go this way that actually allows the signal to get in through to push this block. So s turning that section off, pulling this block back, turning this section on, pushing this block forward. So that way I can get it going in a circle <clears throat> without them blocking each other or other things like that. So let's go ahead and test it out. We're going to have that problem, like I said, so I don't know. Let's do this. So if you notice, it kept going. 
I think I am actually hitting all of them from here. Nice. We'll keep that there then. And I shouldn't need this, so I'll just go ahead and back that off there. That's just extra. I always draw a circle first until I find a good spot. Okay. And I was probably actually able to make it around to the whole section just because I did make it so um, a little bit smaller than that one over there. All right, so now the next part is that the signal that's coming out here needs to actually be able to get out. So we can do this in a couple of different directions. We can kind of step over it, um, make it go under, do whatever you want to do. This is all depending on where you're going, um, what it's going to signal, what you're actually switching over. And then just for the sake of just being the same everywhere, or uniform would be the right word, I just complete it there. So there we go. Alright, now... So there's a lot of weird things going on here. So that's also why I built Let's see. Nope. Now, this is called a rising edge detector, but it also could be called a pull shortener. We need a block here. So essentially, this is going to power this, and then one tick later, when this goes through, it's going to push the block out of the way, stopping the signal. So, well, that didn't work. Okay, so one tick longer, is it because of that? That was weird. There we go. <laughs> so, I honestly have no idea why it would send a signal through this, but not if that was connected into here. That doesn't make any sense. The Windows version is weird. That is all I'm going to say. Like, it's supposed to be a more stable version and all that, but there are some things that I just don't get and you only notice it when you get into the redstone contraptions the rest of it is just kind of like whatever um, I think you notice some movement differences and things like that but other than that like it makes your redstone contraptions really weird and they don't make sense but anyways so now what can you use this for so there are different counters and things like that that you might need them for there are also different states that you might want to do for things um, for example, I ended up actually inventing this for a, um, what would I call it, like a film room type thing. So I would have four different studios where you would go in and flip switches in order to turn lights on and off. And behind those redstone lamps, there was the signals that would go out and all converge into um, a giant theater that would show up on screen. So call it just like a giant flip book, essentially. But I would have four different theater rooms, four different stages, and I'd choose which picture I want to display on the screen. And so this is what helped me make that. So there are many other things why you might want to build this. There are, um, I built a room where you'd flip one switch and it'd like make water fall from the roof and make things look nice and maybe heavenly and then you'd flip it again and turn it off you flip it again and make lava fall from the roof make it look like a hellish place and then you'd flip it again and it'd turn it off and so 
Um, it, uh, it was just more fun than anything else, obviously. You hopefully do play Minecraft for fun, but I hope this helps out. Um, like I said, this is my Switch. I would definitely love to see everybody out there using it if you have any uses for it. Um, paste below what you would use it for, what kinds of things you would like to see. Um, let me know what you think of it, and uh, if you have anything else you would like to see from me. So, we'll see you guys next time. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want future notifications of videos, and take care. Bye!